Photolithography is an integrated circuit fabrication process which plays an important role in the fabrication of different devices or different structures on devices. The photolithography process imprints the specific pattern on the wafer. The three steps of photolithography are coat, expose and develop. First step is spin coating. Wafer is placed on a vacuum chuck, then the vacuum holds the wafer on the chuck. Then we will check whether the vacuum holds the wafer properly. If not, while spinning, the wafer may be thrown out, right? Then the lid would be closed and locked. Photoresist is a mixture of organic compounds in a solvent solution. It can be of two types positive resist and negative resist. Positive resist exposed reagents become more soluble, a positive mask is left after developed. Negative resist exposed materials harden, a negative mask is left after develop. Usually around 5 ml of photoresist would be dispensed on the surface. Photoresist is solid organic material which transfers the design pattern to the wafer surface. Photoresist have high H reaction and adhesion properties. Then we own the spinner. Chuck accelerates for desired resist thickness. RPM can be changed. Then chuck continues to spin to dry film. It begins using a photoresist material which is poured evenly onto the wafer while spins. Uniform thickness and spread is the reason behind the spinner. Then the vacuum is off and the wafer is taken out of the spinner and placed in the hot plate for soft bake. After the photoresist is applied to the desired thickness, a soft bake is used to remove the residual solvents of the photoresist. So the temperature could be around 80 degrees Celsius for around 30 seconds. The purpose of soft baking is partial evaporation of photoresist solvents and to improve adhesion, improve uniformity to improve H resistance, to optimize light absorbance and to characterize a photoresist. Soft baking plays a very critical role in the photo imaging. The photoresist coatings become photosensitive or imageable only after soft baking. Over soft baking will degrade the photosensitivity of resist by either reducing the developer solubility or actually destroying a portion of sensitizer. Under soft baking will prevent light from reaching the sensitizer. After this soft bake, the wafer is cooled to room temperature. We just have to leave it to the room temperature. Then the mask will be placed in the aligner, which is the UV light source.
then this sample will be placed on the aligner align is one of the most critical steps in the entire microsystem fabrication process because a misalignment of one micron can destroy the complete process photolithography is a patterning process in which a photosensitive polymer is selectively exposed to light through a mask leaving a latent image in the polymer that can then be selectively dissolved to provide patterned access to an underlying substrate. The alignment can be made through the X, Y and Z axis Once it placed on the aligner, the alignment can be checked through the microscope. A mask or photo mask is a square glass plate with a patterned emulsion of metal film on one side. The mask is aligned with the wafer so that the pattern can be transferred onto the wafer surface. Each mask after the first one must be aligned to the previous pattern. Once the mask has been accurately aligned with the pattern on the wafer surface so that the photo resist is exposed through the pattern on the mask with a high intensity UV light. Then if the alignment is correct then the wafer is exposed by UV ultraviolet from a light source traveling through the mask to the resist. In this situation, a chemical reaction occurs between the resist and the light. So only those areas which are not protected by the mask undergoes a chemical reaction. The UV light exposure will be carried out for around 80 seconds. Then the sample will be taken out of the aligner and will be dipped into the developer. Then on developing stage, portions of the photoresist are dissolved by a chemical developer which is called as resist developer. So with positive resist, the exposed resist is dissolved while the unexposed resist remains on the wafer. With negative resist, the unexposed resist is dissolved while the exposed resist remains. Dipping in the developer will be carried out for 8 seconds but at the same time make sure by the end of the process the rainbow is disappeared from the wafer. If the rainbow color is not disappeared and still there, dip it again for another couple of seconds and make sure the rainbow color is disappeared. This is the condition where the resist is developed. But at the same time, if we dipped too long, then the pattern will also be erased from the surface. So we need to take care of that also. After dip into the developer, then distilled water will be applied to rinse it. After that again, it will be placed on the spinner in order to remove the water particles.
once the water particles are removed then it will again be placed in the hot plate for hard bake so this hard bake stage could be from 100 to 120 degrees celsius a hard bake is carried out for one minute this hardens the photoresist for the next process after the hard bake the wafer is cooled to room temperature Then it is dipped in the BOE solution for 4 minutes. BOE means buffered oxide H. This is used to remove the oxide layer. After 4 minutes, it is taken out of the BOE solution and then rinsed in the distilled water again. Again, it will be placed on the spinner in order to remove the water particles which could be present on the surface. At this stage, while spinning, acetone will be added. It is in order to increase the vaporization and also to clean the surface. Spinning by applying acetone will also be carried out for 40 seconds. Now as you can see the pattern is developed on the surface of the wafer. This is the complete step by step process of photolithography.